If you're looking for ways to book more discovery calls and clients, then you're in the right place. Welcome back everyone, I'm Alan, and on this channel we learn everything about booking discovery calls and clients. Now, I recently made another video about five ways to book calls and clients, which you can check out here. Uh, but anyway, the summary there was that when people ask, how can I book more calls? How can I book more clients? What they're really asking is how can I generate more traffic, AKA get attention. So let's go ahead and jump right in to five more ways to book calls and clients. The first next way to book calls and clients is with referrals. In other words, through people that you already know or clients that you already have. Now, I know I say this all the time, but there are entire businesses that are fueled by single traffic channels such as referrals. So the point is that whether you have an existing business with past clients or current clients or you're brand new and you only have your sphere of influence or your power network, let's say there are tons of referrals waiting in that network. I know the term goldmine is thrown around a lot these days, but referrals really can be slash are a goldmine. That means this is an asset or a resource you already have. There is no extra money uh, or significant amount of effort necessary. The real only necessary step here is to ask have conversations with your most connected family members, friends, and so forth. The next way to generate traffic calls and clients is with influencer marketing. In other words, taking advantage of other people's audiences. Now, utilizing other people's audiences is a tactic that is so valuable that I'm going to make another video on it soon. But the point here is that there are other people, other accounts, profiles, or channels, or whatever, that already have the audience you're looking for. So on one hand, you can spend all that time creating content, having conversations and so forth to build your own profile, or you can save yourself all that time by just investing a relatively uh, affordable rate usually to an influencer that already has that audience. Now you can do this with an actual person or with a meme or inspirational account, or you can get pretty creative here to be honest. But the whole point here is that other people already have your audiences. They already did the work, they already created the content and so forth, and it actually won't cost you that much to access it. The next way to book calls and clients are with interviews and collaborations. Now, this kind of means exactly what it sounds like, that generally you want to not only interview other people, but if you can, get interviewed yourself. Now, this definitely does not mean to go around clout chasing and trying to see if Kylie Jenner or one of these people can interview you. You probably want to focus a little bit more niche and maybe punch just a slightly bit above your weight or even below. Uh, you don't need to get too cocky here. The point is that you want to just generally build connections, access other people's uh, audiences, provide valuable content, and so forth. The next way to book calls and clients is with SEO, in other words, search engine optimization. Now, you can think of a lot of things as search engines. Actually, uh, Google and Bing maybe might come to mind, but actually there's a bunch of other search engines. You can consider Amazon, YouTube, pretty much any other social platform. Even if I look up Instagram right now, if I look up book calls, there will be certain people and certain posts that pop up at the top. And the whole point of SEO is finding one way or another to show up at the top results of those searches. Now, to be fair, every platform has their own rules for what qualifies as something that gets good SEO or high organic placement. So I'll let you do the research on the particular platform that you're looking for. But the point is that if you're on Instagram, it's a little bit different. You want more engagement, more comments and likes, especially in the first few hours and stuff like that. And TikTok and YouTube and all of these other platforms work the same way, which means they have their own algorithms and engagement metrics that they're looking at, which you should aim to, to please, let's say. The next way to book calls and clients is with marketplaces. 
Now, keep in mind, a marketplace is anywhere where buyers and sellers come together to meet. Now, this could be Amazon, eBay, Upwork, Fiverr, Craigslist, and you can pretty creatively define a lot of other platforms, which pretty much comes down to buyers and sellers coming together to meet. So sticking with a few big marketplaces here, let's start with Amazon. So if you have a book uh, or even products listed on Amazon, maybe people won't buy that exact product, but they will recognize your name, maybe look you up and enter your funnel from there. You could say something similar about Craigslist, Fiverr, Upwork, and other websites like this where, let's just say freelancers come together to meet with buyers. This means even if they don't buy you or hire you directly on these marketplaces, they at least get to know your name, to build trust, to see your portfolio, and maybe even hire you or work with you off-site. But of course, every one of these marketplaces that I've discussed and even more have built entire businesses. There are people who have built entire six or seven businesses on Craigslist or on Upwork or even on Amazon uh, as a marketplace and many other options like that. And the absolute best way on earth to book discovery calls and clients is to hit the like button and subscribe below. If you learned something interesting today, it does help a lot. For more help booking and converting discovery calls and clients, then definitely check out my free training below or book a free discovery call as well. Well, that wraps us up for today. Thanks everyone for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. 